and welcome to our lesson on adding and subtracting the decimal numbers. So we're going to use the column method to add 7.3 and 3.8. So in 7.3 we have 7 units and 3 tenths and in 3.8 we have 3 units and 8 tenths. So we're going to line them up starting with 1 tenths working to the left. So 3 tenths and 8 tenths is 11 tenths. So we're going to carry the units and keep the tenths. 7 add 3 is 10. Add the 1 is 11. So we're going to carry the 10 and add the 1 unit. So we have 11.1. For question 2, we have 3.5, which is 3 units and 5 tenths. And 8.12 which is 8 units, 1 tenth and 2 hundredths. And because we have a blank space here, we're going to put a zero as a placeholder. And then we're going to add from the hundredths, working to the left. So we have zero, add 2 hundredths, which is 2 hundredths. 5 tenths, add 1 tenth is 6 tenths. And 3, add 8 is 11. So carry the tens and keep the units. So we have 11.62. Do you want to try and work out question three and question four? By well, pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question three, we have five units, six tenths and three hundredths added to two units, four tenths and Five hundredths. So we're going to start with the hundredth column. Three hundredths add five hundredths is eight hundredths. Six tenths add four tenths is ten tenths, which is one unit. And five add two add the one is eight. So we have eight point zero eight. And finally, for question 4, we have 87.6, which is 8 tenths, 7 units, and 6 tenths, added to 6 units, 7 tenths, and 8 hundredths. I'm going to put a zero here for our placeholder, and here as well. And I'm going to add them up, starting with the hundredths. So 0 add 8 is 8. 6 add 7 is 13. So I'm carrying units, keeping the tenths. 7 add 6 is 13, add the 1 is 14. Carry the tens, keep the units. And 8 add 1 is 9. So we have 94.38. Okay, let's move on to some subtractions. So we're going to subtract 5.4 from 7.9. So we write the larger number on top, which is 7 units and 9 tenths. And we're taking away from that 5 units and 4 tenths. So again, we start with our tenths. 9 tenths take away 4 tenths is 5 tenths. And 7 take away 5 is 2. So we have 2.5. Question 2. We have 20.8, 2 tenths, no units, and 8 tenths. Take away 15.3. So again, we start with our tenths column. We have 8 tenths, we're taking away 3 of them, so we have 5 tenths left. Now we have 0 units, take away 5 units, which we can't do. So we're going to borrow 1 from our tenths. So this becomes 1, and then we have 10 units. So we've followed 1, 10, we've moved it to the next column, and then we can do 10 take away 5, which is 5, and 1 take away the 1, which is 0. So we have 5.5. Do you want to try question 3 and question 4? By pausing the video, and you can resume that when you're ready. Okay, so for question 3, now because the 7 
and the two are bigger than the zero and the zero, we need to borrow a unit. So this would become eight units and this would become ten tenths. And then we can borrow one from the tenths, so this becomes nine tenths, and this will become ten hundredths. So now we can do ten hundredths, take away seven hundredths, which is three hundredths. Nine tenths take away two tenths, which is seven tenths. Eight units take away three units, which is five units, and nine tenths take away four tenths, which is five tenths. So we have 55.73. And finally, for question four, we have two take away 0 0.123. And I'm going to put in placeholders in the two. And again, I can't take away three from zero or two from zero or one from zero. So I'm going to borrow one from units and this becomes one unit. This becomes 10 tenths, which I can borrow one from. So that becomes nine tenths. And this will become 10 hundredths. I can borrow one from here. So that becomes nine hundredths. And that will become 10 thousandths. So now I can do 10 take away 3, which is 7. 9 take away 2 in the hundredths, which is also 7. In the tenths, I can do 9 take away 1, which is 8. And in the units, I can do 1 take away 0, which is 1. So the answer is 1.877. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.